Fast 545. Now time for weather with meteorologist Shay Sorensen. Shay, we were talking earlier in the week, it's actually going to get colder and colder day by day. So uh -huh. it's like you just got to get ready for it every single day. Got to step up your game. Yes, yes, you do. You got to bundle up before you head out the door. And of course, if you're heading up to the higher elevations, you're definitely going to want to bundle up. Here's Rosenberg sent in these great photos from Ramsey Canyon near Fort Huachuca, near Sierra Vista. Gorgeous shots of the fall colors. So thank you, Harris, for sending in this beauty. Love the red. And he sent in a few more as well. That red tree. Look at that. How beautiful. We got some yellows and oranges in there. Gorgeous fall colors. And then he got a close up of this pretty little leaf right there. So thank you, Harris, for taking the time to send us those photos and if you do plan to go head up to the higher elevations uh, this week or this weekend here's just a look at the peak fall colors uh, we're past peak for Hannigan Meadow and Mount Graham we're very close to peak if not uh, getting past peak for Mount Lemon Madera Canyon and Portal right there too we're getting kind of close to that peak as well and then for Ramsey Canyon where uh, Harris took these photos uh, usually early to mid November so we're getting to near peak there so be sure to send us those photos before it's too late I want to show them off here's a look at the Current temps if you're heading out the door, a little colder compared to this time yesterday. Low to mid 40s for the east side and Savino Canyon. Low to mid 50s for Midtown, the airport and Davis Monthan. Upper 50s, a little bit warmer up towards Ore Valley. Colder though to the south and east. Sonoida waking up to 34, so just barely holding on above freezing there. 47 in Bisbee, 56 in Portal, and 41 for our friends in Sassabee. High temps today, definitely cooler compared to yesterday. We're only going to warm into the upper 70s and low 80s, which is closer to average for this time of year, but still a bit above it. Uh, usually we should be right around the upper 70s like Corona Day 2 Sun and Vail, but even for you guys, this is a little bit above average for you. So a little bit uh, warmer than average for today. Overnight tonight, though, it is going to get pretty cold. Temps dropping into the mid to upper 40s here in eastern Pima County. To the south and east, mainly in the mid to upper 70s today. Overnight tonight, we should see a few more 30s on the board. So mainly 30s and 40s to the south and east. For your future cast, a few high clouds will be rolling through not only uh, this morning but into the very early part of the afternoon and some green is showing up on our map here but I would not get your hopes up if anything maybe a couple sprinkles for the highest peaks but that is it the rest of us will stay dry just dealing with the cloud cover by about noon and then those clouds will decrease from west to east kind of similar to yesterday with a lot of sunshine the second half of the day by early tomorrow morning it's going to be a cold start but we're going to be waking up to a few clouds so sunrise could be pretty nice so get those cameras ready tomorrow morning and then lots of sunshine the second half of the day. So uh, as we head into the next few days, it's kind of just rinse and repeat, very repetitive, but tomorrow will be the coolest day as this cooler air settles in. So Wednesday's high in the warmer spots, upper 70s. So that means potentially 60s to the south and east in a couple spots. And then as we work our way towards Thursday, Friday, temps will begin to warm back into the low 80s, potentially mid 80s this weekend, but it does not look like we're going to hit the low 90s again, at least for the next seven days. Days. The latest 90 degree day though, November 27th. So it's still fair game, but at least for the next seven days, we're going to steer clear of that. So that's good. And then as we head into early next week to midweek next week around this time, temperatures could drop back into the upper 70s. So here's a look at your seven day forecast. Upper 70s for your Wednesday. That is the coolest day of the next seven and actually very near average for this time of year, so perfect November day tomorrow. A little warmer than normal as we work our way towards Veterans Day and this weekend, but overall.